Uh, she's the past co-president of uh, the Des Moines branch of Wealth and a member of the Jane Addams Peace Association uh, Board, which is the nonprofit uh, 501c3 uh, arm of uh, Wealth. Uh, Mary. Just a few weeks ago, we were given two examples, one locally, the other nationally, of impossibility turning into the possible, fear turning into strength. One made of persistence, discipline, healthy competition, and endurance. The other made of courage, idealism, determination, and most of all, a dream. They both endured their share of sweat and pain. The Des Moines Triathlon, fluid with blurred edges and burning desire, the first example. The second, the memorial to Martin Luther King Jr. Stalin, his own words etched there, out of a mountain of despair, a stone of hope. But its foundation, standing along the axis at the Jefferson and Lincoln Memorials, was built of a dream, a dream to imagine a better world, to participate in its making, to reach up and out of ourselves, to dream, a force so ephemeral and transient, yet so powerful, it can move that mountain. Jane Addams knew full well the power of the imagination. In fact, for her, it was the essential ingredient of an ethical society, a democracy that she hoped would take care of others, empathize with those in need, which is fundamental to moving the world to do good in troubled times. She rolled up her sleeves and spent a lifetime of helping with dignity and caring. The underserved, the disenfranchised, immigrants and union workers, yet keeping alive a global dream of peace as well. Today we are bombarded with discouraging prognostications, dire images of a lost, lost once virtuous nationhood, as if we ever had it. But tonight we see clearly and proudly that one person can make a difference. One dream can change the future of our family, friends, and neighbors even beyond. Tonight we celebrate dreaming, imagining, gathering together and rolling up our sleeves for fairness and justice with sweat and pain. Tonight I have the privilege of introducing to you a woman who Jane Addams would declare as one of those women who's starting a new social force starting in a nation filled with cynicism and often despair, a woman speaking truth to power. It's a race to see which narrative wins, whether Gibbon's narrative of downfall and destruction, or as Cornell West writes, one of a revolution in our priorities a fundamental transformation of our way of thinking and living. In this article on King's Memorial, West cites progressive politician Bernie Sanders of Vermont, where running like mad and stone like endurance are ingrained. However, West did not mention Vermont's tried and true revolutionary, Dr. Deb Richter who ran a progressive and humanitarian marathon of her own making. Dr. Richter is an example of boundless courage and remarkable success. 
and I'm sure with a lot of sweat and pain. In a nation where, according to the Census Bureau, in 2010, there were 49.9 million people who did not have health insurance. We want to give an Iowa welcome, and keep your fingers crossed, to a woman who indeed spoke truth to power, and as Vermont's governor declared, the one person who had the backbone to pass a single-payer health care she was essential. And as many of you know, Vermont is the first state in the nation to pass such legislation. She led with a dream, ephemeral, transient, and she moved that mountain. Imagine that, an ethical revolution. <laughs> 